Man, that's a wrap, my <laughs> nigga. Thank you, brother. Right on. Appreciate you. All good. Thank you, right on, big dog. Thank you. Once again, appreciate it. Appreciate you, man. Nah, that's that just not how it go, bro. Because <laughs> Bro, what type of trust fund money do you got to be able to hire Marshawn Lynch, former Super Bowl NFL running back, for a music video for like 10 to 15 minutes? But then again, I don't know for sure. I'm just stereotyping, to be honest. You know, I'm just assuming. I'm just assuming he ain't make all that money himself. Listen, bro, I'm I'm fucking a grown man right now. Hey, yo, bro, hold on. <laughs> I was just pointed at you. What? Because the way you said it. With no common, no say? comma, no pause, no nothing. Like that was. What did he that say? That was crazy. What did he no, say? Stop. I missed it. My thing is this. My thing what did is, he say? My thing is this. What did he say? No, the whole thing is this, right, Murder? It's Can't fine. Can't you let them talk. No, no, exactly. I don't know what they said. I don't know what I said neither, but I must have said something. The thing is. No, it was crazy. The thing about it is. All right, no problem. <laughs> If you want to place you. that, get it. You just said, you just said, you just said no, I saw, you just said I saw it. You just said I saw it coming. It doesn't yeah. even work. You said that. No, no, Larry pointed at you. Larry pointed at the point. top. <laughs> hey, yo, man, that's my biggest fear about going live. I've gone live plenty of times, but just saying something and you you can't edit it out and it's taken out of context. Of course, I know he meant to say that he is a grown man, but it didn't come out that way. I honestly really wish she would have just told him what he said so that he can go and correct that. Cause like, <laughs> dang, <laughs> dang man. <laughs> really whack shit. Really whack. People in the comments are going crazy with that video. You know, some people are saying she look like Miley Cyrus. Others are saying that that's a uh, hustle and flow too. Hey dad. Did you um, watch my TikTok from earlier today? Um, I don't, I don't. Oh, baby, I've been busy all day. Go, go watch it. So you lying on me and saying that I ate the Oreos? I sure did. Why would you do that? Because I wanted to. At least I told you I lied on you. I'm an honest liar. If I lie on you, I'm going to tell you. I said, Karina, I'm getting ready to lie on you now. You was over there. If you didn't eat them, you should have eaten them. <laughs> Watch my most recent TikTok. Maybe this one. Some... Which one? So you lying on me and saying that I ate the Oreos? Oh, and saying that I ate the Oreos? Oh, you lie. Well, Why are you telling on yourself? Like, but I didn't. I know you didn't. Then. Why are you lying? So why didn't you just say that? I don't feel like being bothered with him. I don't want to hear his mouth, so I just lied on you. At least I told you I lied on you. You know what? Get out of my cell phone. I'm a honest liar. If I lie on you, I'm going to tell you. I said, Karina, I'm getting ready to lie. Regina. But you told me after you lied. But I, you wasn't there. For, I didn't know I was going to have to lie on you because I didn't think you was going to be looking for Oreos. So. Well, what, is, what are you doing? You was over there. You know what? Cody, go back to your room. Go. 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 Can we talk about how she lied on me? Hell no. Don't nobody care. What are you talking about, Karina? Johnny, I do. She lied on me. First of all, the problem is she eats way too much sugar. No, no. That's not the problem. The problem is that she lied on me. Oh. Yeah, I'm not that worried about it either. Nah, bro, you need to be worried about that. She done sat there and looked at you with them innocent eyes and everything. That's why I've read the comments. Somebody said she just, she just looking at you with them innocent eyes with no response. <laughs> well, they didn't say with no response, but you know what I'm saying. Bro, nah, you got to check that. You got. I don't understand how, why do old folk don't never know when they getting recorded, bro? They never know. That's crazy. Don't get me wrong. What she's doing is amazing, but I think why everybody got their phones out and they're so impressed by what she's doing is because she's an attractive woman with a skill. Most pretty women don't know how to do nothing because they just rely on their looks to get them through life. So when you see an attractive woman with a skill that requires hard work, I mean, it's, it's, it's quite impressive and I don't care what the feminists have to say. <laughs> Excuse me, you got a dollar to spare? 
No, I'm sorry. You sure? Positive. Okay, there you go. I just feel bad for you. Everybody should have at least a dollar. Well, I have a card, so I'm okay. <laughs> oh, okay. You sure? Well, thank you. Yeah, I feel bad for you. Yeah. Well, I'm all right. Okay, cool. Usually people just don't carry cash anymore. Oh, all right. I just thought you was broke. Nope. All nope. right. I'm I was good. like, damn, she need to have at least a dollar. Thank Get you a snack or something. You have a good day. Yeah, you too. You know, I wish the same concept was normalized with more money. For example, say you're in a store, somebody comes up to you and say, um, excuse me, do you have like $10,000 you can spare? Of course, most people are going to say no, because who carries around $10,000 cash on them? Not the average person. And once you say no, they say, oh, well, here you go. Here's $10,000. Man, man, man. I, I, listen, I take that 10000 every time. You know what I'm saying? Let's normalize that. You dig what I'm saying? I wasn't following close. Yeah, man, you almost rear-ended me. All right, I got it on dash cam when you pressed your brakes, and then that's when I got close to you. All right, I'm not here to argue with you, but you almost rear-ended me. I didn't. Hey, they almost crashed. You need to go check on them. Like, I'm fine. That's fine. All right, like, what's I'm up? I figure out you who you would almost rear-ended me. I didn't almost rear-end you. You want to pull up your dash cam? I can pull it up. Okay. What's the speed in? What you got speed in? Huh? What are y'all speeding to? Speeding? I wasn't speeding. That displays my speed as well. You want to pull that up? Uh, no, nah, I, I, nah, I like I like court battles. You like court battles? Yeah, I, lo I love court. I got good money for a lawyer. Hey, I ain't tripping, man. All right, sir. So. Right. You're falling too close to me. Be careful with that. All right, I got you. What's up with the extended mag you got in the back seat? Hey, you see this? Hold on, let me. You got a gun? I got several guns, if you ask asking. Right. But hey, you ain't got to worry about what's in my back seat. I'm leaving. All right. All right. All right. Hey, take care. All right. Have a good one. Appreciate you. I'm not saying it's like this for all officers, but once they hear court or litigation or lawyer, they get scared. They get scared every single time. And he had a dash cam. And he had, he had he had the evidence to prove yet. Cops aren't cops. Cops aren't above the law when you got proof and you got lawyers and you, yeah, all that type of thing. How are you going to have a whole setup and film inside your house where you reside, where you live, and then when your woman walk out the room not knowing what's going on, you mad at her? Bro, she has every right to be mad at you, bro. <laughs> I think being a black woman yeah. and being with you as a white man, that really exacerbated my feeling of having to be on all the time because I've only been with black men, really. The men that I grew up with, even if I didn't date them, they were um, a certain type of guy, like a tough guy. Yeah. You know, a hard guy. Uh, what'd you say to me, babe? Kind mm -hmm. of guy. Because you're not like that. I felt like I had to adopt those hyper-masculine traits and that mm -hmm. put me in a place where I felt like I had to be hard yeah. for myself, for my own protection because you weren't hard to the world. And that wasn't something that computed to me. And I think that being with you made me feel like I had to be even more hard because it's like, you're not gonna notice when I walk into a place and I'm getting looks because I'm black or you're, yeah. you might not notice all the microaggressions. Over time, that's something I'm definitely aware of and making sure yeah. that you feel comfortable in those situations and if you know we need to leave or if we need to get out of a situation because you're feeling uncomfortable like I'm totally open to that just being more aware in that that sense that took some time if I can keep it a stack with you this sounds no different than how this sounds no different than how they talk to us black men about whatever it's the same thing no matter who they with it sounds exactly the same